In this set of video tutorial, we are going to learn calculations when there are certain conditions which are being implemented. Let's say when we talk about salaries, uh, a part of the salary actually goes to the government as a part of the taxes. So on one side, we have not actually calculated taxes here because this is the overall salary, but the net salary, which is the take home salary is, is somewhat different from what uh, you see here. So essentially because of the taxes. So uh, let me give you an example. Let's assume that uh, a hypothetical case where uh, taxes is defined in such a way. Let's say from when the salary is between zero to let's say fifty thousand dollars, the tax rate is zero percent, and when the salary is above fifty thousand, the tax rate is twenty five percent. Now, let us take an example. Let's say a person earns 70,000 US dollars. Now in this case, uh, it will be divided into two parts. One is when the salary is between zero and 50,000. So the first case is up till 50,000, the tax would be zero. And whatever the amount is above 50,000 till 70,000. In this case, the difference is 20,000. And the tax that will be applicable on this additional 20,000 would be 25%. So 25% of 20,000 in this case would come out to be 5,000. So the total taxes actually is the sum total of these two, which is 5,000. So the take home salary would be 70,000, which is the actual salary or the gross salary. And we subtract the government taxes and the take home salary would be 65,000. So these are the certain conditions with respect to taxes and let us try to apply these same tax rates in our case study. So that while we apply the tax rates, you know, we can first calculate the taxes and then calculate the gross values. So let me clean this Excel sheet first quickly and um, what I'll do is I'll insert two rows in between and uh, for doing that I need to just select from the top the whole column and I do a right click and you can press insert what will happen by doing that is a column is inserted between the table and the column which we were talking about likewise I want to insert another cell I can do the same thing I just go and right click and press insert now what I want to do here is I'll calculate the taxes in this column and the take home salary in this set of columns okay so that's what we are going to do so in order to calculate the taxes we are going to use the function which is if function so now in order to use if function what we need to do is we just need to type equal to write if with a bracket open now what happens here is once we open the bracket we'll find that it provides us with a syntax there are three things which this if function requires first is the logical test now logical test is the condition that you want to check whether it is true or false if it is true then perform a, an action which would be value if true if it is false perform another action which is value if false so the first thing that we need to actually do in our case is to check whether the annual salary is greater than 50,000 or not so that would be a logical condition here because that's the limit on which we as salary holders may have to pay taxes so this would be cell G6 in this case of Melvin and let's type a greater sign greater sign is available on the keyboard very close to the question mark this G6 should be greater than 50,000 that is our logical test now the next thing that you need to do here while you're using the if function is after this condition which is fully complete you need to type a comma in order to make sure that yes we have completed the logical and we can move forward and type what needs to be done if the value is true 
So as you can see now this gets slightly bolded and uh, we can perform uh, the relevant uh, action which we require when the logical test is true. So the action item that is uh, needs to be performed here is that on the difference between the annual salary and the 50,000 we need to multiply that by 25% tax. So as we know that for the initial 50,000 there's no taxes and for any amount which is above 50,000 we need to pay 25% tax. So first and foremost we need to calculate what is that additional amount. So additional amount uh, when we have to calculate we can use a bracket so as to clearly define that the difference is being calculated here the annual salary is in G6 minus the minimum amount was 50,000 so this bracket term actually calculates the difference between the annual salary and 50,000. So whatever this amount is, 25% of this will go as taxes. So we use this asterisk sign and we multiply that by 25%. I'm typing percent within this set of formulas. So don't get intimidated. This really follows a very logical way. So we have kind of completed the value if true. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to again press a comma so that we can shift from value if true to value if false. Now what if the salary is less than 50,000? There are no taxes that needs to be paid. So in this case we will have 0 and last but not the least we need to close the formula in order to make sure that we are done with this if function. So let's press enter and see what happens. So Melvin is actually paying off, I mean the taxes of 15,100 and what would be his take home salary? His take home salary would be the difference between the annual salary and the taxes. So this would be calculated here. This is equal to the annual salary which is G6 minus H6 which is taxes and we press enter and we find that the take home salary of Melvin is 95 thousand three hundred dollars. Now that we have calculated the taxes and the take-home salary for Melvin, uh, calculating the same for uh, others should not be difficult because we have learned the formula which is copy and paste. So uh, copy the formula and paste the formula is what we are going to do in the case. So let's copy this by right clicking and copy and paste the same formula for Bruce and we find that Bruce doesn't pay any taxes because his salary is extremely low in this case and that turns out to be zero dollars. Likewise let's do it again for the case of Jacob and we right click and paste it. So uh, Jacob pays a hundred dollars as taxes. Can we do the same thing for take home salary? Of course we can because we have done this in the past for maximum function and average functions as well. So the take home salary for Bruce is $30,000 and the same formula can be copied in case of Jacob and what we find is his take home salary comes out to be $50,300. So another tip which we can use uh, to copy and paste is we are copying one cell at a time and pasting one cell at a time. We can actually select two cells at a time and paste across a range. So what do I mean is let's say I want to copy taxes, I want to copy take home salary, both the formulas at once. So I can do that simultaneously by selecting these two. Okay, so this is how it, it's done. You just select these two as a range and copy it. So this has selected both the formulas. Can I paste it in this row? Yes, I can do that. Can I paste it across the range? It will be a bit clever because you know all the formulas will get populated at once and the next thing once you have selected the full range is to right click again and paste it. So what we find is that all your formulas gets populated at once and uh, if you want to just kind of double check you can see these formulas are working in a very efficient way and uh, no structure has been disturbed. So this is how you know you can use uh, if function 